Hey guys, Nate from Chug Dug. I'm going to show you how to apply a vinyl decal to a surface using a hinge method. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, no matter which method you're using to apply the decal, is to clean the surface that you're applying it to. Soap and water you can use, that's probably the easiest, or rubbing alcohol, that dries pretty quickly. You can use Windex or glass cleaner, it's a little more risky, it might interact with the adhesive. Whatever you use, make sure the surface is completely dry before you start to apply the decal. Alright, so this is clean, clean enough for demonstration purposes. First thing you want to do is take a squeegee like this one, this one's from 3M I believe, or a credit card, driver's license, rub down the decal everywhere. Make sure you hit every spot, pay special attention to small details or if you have lettering but that's usually a problem or where you have corners or thin lines. Rub it down and we're gonna we're gonna use a method uh, it's essentially a hinge method where we're gonna cut this in half put some tape on it. The best thing to use is actually masking tape or painters tape is probably the best. I don't have any in the shop here and it's kind of late. I wasn't going to go get any. I'm going to try it with just uh, scotch tape or I guess it's, I don't know, Rite Aid brand clear tape. But it should work. It may damage the background on this, but I'm not worried about it. So take a piece of tape, find about in the center and apply that tape to it. So essentially you have the tape sticking off top and bottom. And this is good for long decals. Really any decal you can do it with, but if you're doing a long name or something on a window, this is good. This just helps you line it up. So what you can do, line it up where you need it to be. And you could wait to apply the tape until this step too. That might be easier, whatever you wanna do. Line it up. Okay, this is where I want it good enough. Stick the tape down on the top and bottom. So now it's being held in the middle by that tape. So what we do is we pick a side, we're gonna go this way, pull it up to the tape, but don't pull the tape up, and remove the backing tape, or I mean backing paper as far as you can. So slowly, so I can get to that eye, right? Keep it like this. If you have a really long decal, you'll want a helper for this. Someone's gonna have to hold this piece. And then you can either, uh, depending on how you wanna do it, you can just rip this backing paper or get some scissors and cut it, whatever you find easiest. All right. So now, holding this tight, we're gonna just start to apply it. So. Go from your tape, push it down, and just rub it out. Make sure you don't get any bubbles in. So you want to start here and go towards the outside edge. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can remove our tape because this should be stuck pretty well. Pull it back up the other way. Carefully remove our backing paper and you see that V started to peel up. So I'll push it down, come at it from a different angle. Okay. And again, hold some pressure on this. Slowly work your way out, making sure it's lined up along the way. There we are. Now take your squeegee, your driver's license, your credit card, and squeegee this down. Now if you have the time, you can let this sit for a while. 24 hours is ideal. Uh, I apply them and remove the transfer tape immediately a lot for my own things and don't really have any issues, but it is recommended that you wait a bit to let the adhesive set. I'm gonna peel it now, hopefully it works. It should. 
So again, start from a corner, very slowly peel it, keeping it at a sharp angle as you roll it. In fact, this hand for me is actually laying on the surface. If you have a piece that starts to pull up, stop, go back, rub it down. Make sure you don't keep pulling because again, you will could rip a letter, you could pull a letter up, have a bad day. And there we are.